If you wanna learn how to master music and you don't have much time, then this is the video for you. I'm gonna be mastering a full song in just five minutes and I'm gonna explain how to get a loud and punchy master along the way. I'm gonna be mastering this song, Demon Racer, it's a metal song, I'm mastering in five minutes. Before we start, it's important just to go over our goals, our aims and objectives when we're mastering a song. Just so you know what I'm doing here and what you need to be thinking about when you master your own music. So firstly, we wanna be making it louder, I uh, want to make it competitively loud so it sounds great next to other commercial tracks on the radio and streaming services without it sounding too over compressed and squashed. We don't want to ruin those dynamics. Probably going to be making a few subtle tweaks as well to, to the EQ, a little bit of compression to, to balance things out, possibly some harmonic saturation. I always recommend having a reference track in your session when you're doing a master, uh, just to give you a point of reference for you know, what, what the artist or what, what the kind of sound you're after. And it's a different song, you're not copying uh, anything, it's just to refer so you know in your system that, that it's gonna sound right next to that kind of music in terms of the tone and the loudness mainly. I'm also gonna be looking at the spacing and the fades at the beginning and end if needed. If we were mastering a whole album, then we'd be doing, sorting out the spacing sort of as a whole, um, but we're just doing this one song in five minutes today, so. I'm gonna make sure that at the beginning and end, there's gonna be a little bit of a gap so it sounds right when it's on, on the streaming services. And finally, I'll be exporting the track, just showing you what you need to do, what kind of formats, uh, sample rate, think, bit rate, things like that, and applying dither as well when we convert it down to a 16-bit file. So without any further ado, let's get mastering. All right, so it's 9.55 on the clock, let's get going. First, I want a compressor on there and an EQ. Let's get the basic Pro Tools, Pro Tools EQ and even though we used a high pass filter during the mix, I want to cut off from that very low end from below 25 hertz, it's not needed. I want to get a little bit of punch out of the low end, just comparing it to the to the reference track. A little bit more from that from that kick. Remember, this is affecting the whole mix, so we're going to be quite subtle. Just a couple of dB, uh, around 50. Just the output accordingly so we can easily compare between the two. Okay, let's get some compression in there. Just between two and three. Between two and three to one ratio, not going too hard. We don't want to crush this. And set the makeup game so we can compare. I don't want to lose the attack on that snare, so I'm going to just bring that attack back. Okay, let's sort those fades out and the spacing. Normally leave about, about a fifth of a second at the front and about three seconds towards the end. But that fade is a little bit long, so let's bring that back a bit. Oops. Right, that's sounding cool. And then I can have a bit of silence at the end there. I want to get a bit of tape saturation on there too. I really like this clean and open preset on this frame of tape. 
And then let's get a limiter, the L1 Ultra Maximizer. We're going to use dither, because it's a 24-bit file at the moment. We're going to be dithering it down to a 16-bit file, which is standard for, for CD. And then just bring that ratio down to get some more volume. Aiming for between 8 and 10 integrated LUFs for the loudness. Without affecting the dynamics too Just comparing it to the reference track as well. Don't need to push it so hard. Cool. Right. That's 10 o'clock. That's five minutes. Well, it does go quickly. Okay. I can't make any more changes on that then. I'm going to just bounce that down. So, like I said, three seconds or so at the end. And while I'm bouncing it down, I'm going to keep an eye on the loudness there. Bounce mix. And then it wants to be 16 bit, 44.1 kilohertz for, for CD standard. So just looking at the Ulin loudness meter, uh, it gives us all the info we need really. About nine uh, average dynamics, which is is not a lot, but for metal that is quite typical. And you've got minus 8.6 integrated LUFs uh, loudness, which comparing it to the reference track, um, it's, it's plenty loud enough. And, and again, haven't spent anywhere near as much amount of time as I would with a, uh, a, a master for a client. So I probably would be making some tweaks, you know, to make sure we're not killing those dynamics and and spending a bit more time using uh, metering plugins. I'd be listening to it in mono as well. It's really important to listen to your masters in mono. So just a fun little challenge there. I hope you enjoyed that. I just wanted to see if I could get that master done in five minutes. In, if I was doing this really for the, for the client, then I'd spend a fair amount longer than that just getting everything right um you never want to rush your work but just just so you can sort of see the mastering process in a short amount of time as well if i was mastering an album or an ep anything with multiple tracks i'd be looking at the tracks together as well making sure that the balance is 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 right across the board um so no songs on the album are vastly different in volume or anything like that. But I hope you got something out of that today. If you have any questions at all on mastering your own music or you're learning how to master other, for other people, just leave them in the comments section below and I'll, I'll drop in and, and help out. And for more recording, mixing and mastering tips and tutorials, just hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.